Good morning. I feel like coding a little bit. And uh, let's see where we get. Um, the idea is to see what it would take to do a pixel art editor. Uh, give me just a minute. Let me move this window up so I can see it. All right, cool. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to take this code and copy it into here, hide this. We will start with this and prune, and then um, go from there. So the idea, I'm not going to need search. I don't know if I'm going to need any focus stuff. I'm going to need buttons. I'm going to need nav. I may need an overlay. Um, let's not do any of this first. We'll leave nav for later. Don't believe I'm going to need tags or anything. I shouldn't need a preview. Well, I'll probably repurpose that tag for something else. Okay. All right, so for now, I'm thinking, let's go ahead and not init this. I don't think I have any other um, dependencies here. All right, here's the goal to have a pixel editor. I'm going to see what we can do um, to make it easy to render and manage without having to use the canvas or anything crazy as minimal markup and JavaScript as possible. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not really sure how I'm going to export to PNG. That may end up being like a something I do later, but um, I'm just going to start with a grid of pixels and let's start with settings. Uh, let's do it with 64 by 64. Let's just start with that. Let's assume it's square for now. Yeah, I, I have some a way I, a funky way I do JavaScript in uh, my web apps. I don't use React or anything. I don't use. I'm gonna need some key handlers, and um, we'll get rid of that video's code in a bit. Don't use VJS, don't use React, don't use anything else like that. Let's see. Call this container for now. Um, call it that. And we'll go up here. Make sure I've got. So for now, we'll do pixels as a display grid with um, yeah, how can I get this to be automatic? If I can do that, where it's kind of um, on the fly, I think I can. All right, 
let's try. So, oh God, was it, was it a uh, grid template? Display grid or grid template columns, I think is what it was called. So I'm going to need to repeat this. Uh, what's the repeat in JavaScript? I don't remember. So it's not that. It's uh, yeah, no, that's right. Um, uh, it's not really what I want. Wow, this is wrong. Settings suck. Um, yeah, I guess that's right. With in 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 grids. <laughs> All right. So then we'll do. Repeat a string. Cool. works. Go down here and we'll do that and this. 671. Of course. Right, the handles. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and, I don't know that I'm going to need, I'm probably going to want to stop backspace, but that might be the only one I stop right now. We'll just go ahead and do that. Get rid of those and then click on main. We'll just go ahead and get rid of that. See if that helps. Uh, 351. Where did that come from? There we go. It's a problem with reusing code. 355. And body. Okay, there is no body. I did call it body. Okay. Oh, right, there's no main. So we'll just call it pixels. 359. This is uh, tags. Yeah, right, I didn't click to tags. We don't want that right now. Okay, so that's nine percentage. <clears throat> Which is not what we want. There we go. All right, now what I want to do is add all the elements. Mm, that's not right. I know there's probably a way to repeat this, but Uh, 
That's not exactly what I want. Do that and do that. Ah, no. I want to change just I. That's a little frustrating. All right. So now I want to do out dot push, and then we're going to do a tag of a div, and it's going to have no styles for now and no children. And yeah, we're going through width and height. So it's going to be 64 elements. All right, and then where's my draw children in the container? And the children to draw. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got sixty four. Cool. All right, now let's make them show up. So let's go down to pixels in the grid and we'll do <clears throat> Okay, that's border. What? It's weird. Oh, um, right, so that's, how can I match the height here? I wish I could match, all right, let's see here. That's not JavaScript. Right. Mm. Mm, actually, no. I don't understand this. Either way, um, to go back into there later. Okay, that's what I wanted. Um, how do I do like a gutter though? I don't really want to do a gutter, but. What's this? Okay, gap, right. Let's try that. Okay, and all right, so that's 
sizing them there. Yeah, I kind of wanted it to grow and shrink with the window, but that might not be possible. And it looks to me like it is um, setting the width of the cells, but the width of the cells is according to the template. And um, it's not exactly what I want. It's like the spacing or something is uh, determined by the grid. Spacing between them. It's funny. Okay. Why? How do I, can I set like CSS, like how to calculate the height of this based on, um, based on the width. So that's, that's width happening, right? But that's not exactly what I want. Why is this not quite? Sixteen might be easier to reason about. It's still getting wider than I wanted it to be. Why is that wider than I want? That's odd. Oh, it's the gap that's pushing it. Okay, that makes sense. wonder whether I could draw, then inspect, then update. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe I can uh, the height um is it client height or something like that i can't remember exactly what it is let's 
let's uh, do this. Oh, let's just uh, explore it here. Oh, that, right. It's width that I want. Is it 58, really? Okay. All right. So then we can do... Um, can I? Maybe. What is I? It's an index. Okay, so CSS. I can't remember. Uh, I think it's that. That was a thing. What is it client with? Right. Okay, that's better. Okay, so that gives us 16 by 16, right? Yep, and let's get rid of the gutter. I wonder if it'll collapse the borders, give us no, yeah, no scroll, that's good. Okay, now let's see if we can get a click happening. Handles, click pixels, just want a click event. Cool. All right, now I want to know the target. So target dot style dot background color. Excellent. We don't even need any of this stuff now. 
I got most of it all plugged in. This is listeners. Yeah, those are different. Okay, don't need that. But I do want color yellow for now. We'll do um, Oh, that's different. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so if we only really want it to be the div, and the thing is, we only really want it to change the color of the actual pixels within. within here. So um, maybe we just do a quick parent check for now. Maybe we can make it faster later. That should limit it to the container tag name. Gets that. Yeah. Okay. So it won't change anything outside of this. Where I mean, we only, we can only click on the children basically, which is good. Now, what I do want is. Mouse down um, anywhere uh, within pixels. I do want it to um, start the cursor and then. I don't know whether these will keep registering though. So what I do need to find out is whether this will give us anything. So within pixels, if we move on an item, I wanna see what that item is. I wanna see those events. Maybe a lot, but that's okay. Um, actually, let's only do it if if cursor has been started. And let's do mouse up. And we want mouse up to reset the cursor no matter where it is. So we want that to kind of trickle up, trickle up. That way in case we move outside of the pixel grid, we want the cursor to reset. All right, what's this? Element is not defined, right? There, let's see here. Okay, excellent. So mouse down, we can start that. So I probably don't need a click then, right? So I could just move this up to, so we're gonna have to also add stuff for a touchdown, or touch start or touch end, whatever it's called. So probably don't need this anymore. But we'll just keep it for now.
All right, so mouse move, if we have that, then we will also change those colors. That's great. That's exactly what I want. Okay, cool. Now, what I envision is a palette across the top. So let's do the palette first. Um, we're going to need the Um, we'll just start with palette for now. And we'll hard code colors for now. I don't really know. We'll, we'll pull in hex later. So. Very similar to what we did before. We'll loop over, push out some tags. I think this will give us the actual colors, which is what I want. For this, we're going to do um, I think that'll do it. Oh, right, we don't have the palette spot. I That's all I need, really. Okay, let's check palette, nothing. It's console, nothing. All right, I'm not knitting this yet. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, it's controls, sorry. Okay, do have that and that. All right, so the palette, we need to give some styles very basically identically to what we've done before here. Um, Display grid, and we'll just do uh, do um, we'll do them like 10% I have no idea what Oh, okay, so it is uh, 
not the color, right? <sighs> of course not. Oh, right. Uh, I always forget about this. It should work, right? Yeah. Okay. So then when I click on, here's where we can use our click. I think palette is what I can do. And we'll do, But I also want to highlight it. So we'll do that. since I've done this stuff. Wow. Um, class list. one I don't even know <laughs> list okay so that is uh all right but what I want to do on this is actually should have attached the handler when I made palette Right, I, I did have a way where I was auto attaching an action to something. So let's do let's do that. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe not right now. Let's see here. We'll just keep it for now. I'm not sure where that code was. Also, I'm getting hot. I need to stop recording. So yeah, we'll progress later. <laughs>